Your Excellency, it is an honor. What are you doing here? Civilians are not allowed to enter the compound. Lay down your arms and surrender. That's not happening. To <laughs> my help! <laughs> and death to the others! What are you doing here? Who let you in? I demand an explanation. It seems that your men are a little distracted this evening, Lieutenant. It is understandable, with all that's been going on. You are under arrest, as well as your commander. But what is this? I recognize you. You're the governor's emissary. And Kurt, you had your orders. Sorry, but forced to betray someone, I decided it would be the less likable of the lot. Traitor. Soldiers, ready weapons! Yeah. To my help! Yeah. 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 We've arrived too late. Do you know where Torsten could have gone? No. But we'll certainly find some information about it in these papers. Torsten suspected that I would denounce him. And he was prepared to leave this place. We must catch up to him. He cannot get away with this. Let's go.
Torsten is a snake, but he's clever. Apparently, he suspected I would refuse to follow his orders. He must have been told about our attack on the ghost camp and drew his own conclusions. He knew you better than you thought he did. The guard, we're moving out. Break camp. We are no longer welcome here. And so, these snake oil merchants defy us by sending their watchdog. Let's show them what guards are made of. Do I have the time to return and see those dear to me? Constantine, how are you feeling? Death is on my doorstep, and all hope has flown through the window. Come closer. What ill tidings do you bring? Yes. I thought you'd like to know that the Coin Guard's attempt to take control of the island has failed. <sighs> this is excellent news. The kind I've not had in a great while. Thank you, Kurt. Were it not for your loyalty, we were lost. As for you, my dear cousin, <sighs> you know what I owe you. Not only have you looked out for me, like always, but you have protected my advisors. Yes. And if your highness would permit, I would like to relay our most sincere gratitude from all of Teleme. Thanks to your message, the Mother Cardinal was able to thwart the Commander's plans. By the grace of the Illuminated, the city is saved, and the traitors punished as they should be. The Governor Buren thanks you as well. Your message was instrumental in stopping Hikmet and our research falling into the hands of those brutes. It is my dear cousin that you should thank, my lady. I was told that you were able to catch the commander before he got away. Barely, but alas, his lieutenants managed to escape. <sighs> I care little for the underlings. The commander will pay for all of them. Do you happen to know the punishment we practice for treason? 
Oh, yes. I remember now. Enough talk of ruffians. They failed. And for that, I again thank Kurt. If your highness is looking for a means to translate his gratitude, gold is a present that is always appreciated. I imagine that you shall name a new commander. Yes. I will discuss the matter with loyalist officers, but I think I know who will be elected. I hope it is someone whom we can trust. We do need soldiers, but loyal soldiers above all. We are well aware that the Guard's reputation has been tarnished. We will not make the same mistake twice. Sieglinda is solid and loyal. I have fought beside her. You have my complete trust, Kurt. You have amply earned it. Before you leave, I must ask you something. All right, I'm listening. I'm always suffering, cousin. I'm in such terrible pain and we're yet to discover a cure. Don't blame yourself. I know how much you do for me. Yet, I'm afraid that before the sickness claims me, the pain will have driven me mad. <sighs> if only there was a way to ease my suffering. I know of a healer with powers that are legendary amongst the clans. It is rumored he can alleviate even the most terrible pains. His village is west of the city. I could take you there. One of our holy men lives in San Mateus. His healing powers are supposedly miraculous. Alas, it is a miracle we are in need of, my son. If I may, Your Highness, we have the best physicians in the world. It shouldn't stop Father Petrus from praying for a miracle. It can't do any harm. I'm nothing more than a sailor. I don't have much to offer when it comes to healing. As it would seem to lay may a pray for the Malachor, just like the Bridge Alliance. Perhaps it would be best to ask for aid from those not suffering from the plague. The sailor's right. The holy men and the sages had their chance on the continent, and we all know how that went. Thank you, as always, for your advice. Cousin, you are the only one I trust, so please, don't let me lose my mind. I'll follow the leads and find a way. I won't let you down. Hold on. I'll be back as soon as I can.
to my help. And death to the elements! Nice, eh? Quesi! Get out! Who do you think you are to defoil our ritual? One of those moin shakers, no doubt. Aiden, it is your duty to assure we are not interrupted. A thousand pardons, Tien. It is indeed one of those moin shakers. A moin shaker? Look at him more closely, Aiden. He is an Ormanawi. Present yourself, and tell me why you interrupt our ceremony. My name is Desade. I have come looking for you to ask for your help. Then, how can I help you? My cousin suffers from a terrible sickness, the Malako. I do not know this sickness. But perhaps we call it by a different name. It turns the blood black and provokes terrible suffering. And alas, it is fatal in all cases. The symptoms of its victims start with severe headaches and nausea. Their blood becomes effectively darker and more viscous. The veins become visible. In the end, the victim weakens and dies. We have not, as of yet, found a treatment. We've never seen the ailing touched by such a sickness. And I doubt I am able to heal your cousin. We are looking for a remedy, but urgently need to relieve his pain. Could you slow the progression of the sickness? Keep him from suffering? In that, I can help you. I know how to make one forget the pain, even the most severely wounded. But Tiern, with all that is happening now, you cannot leave to visit this ill person. It is true. 
My village needs me now. I cannot leave. I must attend them. What is going on? Perhaps we can help you. Truly? You? Do they have a choice, Aiden? They do really seem to have need of me, don't they? Well then, tell us what we need to do. The situation has become unbearable. And it all started when these Moin Shakers began arriving. They wanted to convert everyone and take them to another place. Turn them away from us. And of course, the village folk would not be persuaded. But the Moin Shakers remained. And it was also at that time the Tenlen started to attack. It is not their way to do as such. There are many wounded, and recently many have gone missing. We must discover from where these monsters come. I can try and talk sense into the missionaries, perhaps with the help of Bishop Petrus. As for the attacks of the creatures, I will see what I can do. But I need more information. Our master hunter, or the families of the Taken, could most likely help you. Very well. I'll take care of it. Make preparations to accompany us. The days are burning like very thin candles. Do not worry. If you see to the concerns of my village, I will be most happy to accompany you. Let's go and see this master hunter. He may be able to explain all there is to learn about these attacks. Excuse me. You have returned. Not yet. Then how can I... Tell me about the missionaries who came to the village. They say that the spirits of the island do not exist, or that they are demons. But we know that they are real. They want us to worship a god in the sun, but it is only a drawing on their clothes. And what they really want is to use our young people as servants. They are not good people, and we don't call them mind shakers for no reason. Tell me about the attacks on your village. They began a while ago. Suddenly, the Tenlands have grown in numbers and have become more aggressive. They started to attack those who went outside the village, especially at night. We had to become more prudent, but it wasn't enough to prevent some young people from disappearing. But you should go and ask the hunter. He knows the Tenlands habits well. I need to leave. Very well. Partir to mud.
Good day. Are you the master hunter? Beur tir tu madre naikse. I am indeed one and the same person. What do you want of me? The Dunaygad, Katasach, spoke to me about the animal attacks. Can you tell me more? The Ten Lands have been angered. They are very angry. The beasts have always lived here. But they only attack if we tread near their nest. Of late, they attack on sight. There have been many wounded, and some of our young have even disappeared. It may be that the Ten Lands killed them, but it is also possible they followed the missionaries. What can you tell me about the Ten Lands? They are normally very peaceful creatures, very calm, but who defend their young with fury. During the attacks, I noticed that they were not all the same. Not all from the same nest. What do you mean? That the other beasts don't come from here, but from other places. And that they are coming more and more often. Were there many victims? Many wounded. Thanks to the healing powers of the Donegan, they survived. But the attacks happen more and more often, and they come with greater fury. I try to chase them away, to destroy any nests that I found, but still, more of them come. And now our children disappear. Distress alone could kill our village. Can you tell me who the children are? A young fisherman and a gatherer. You will find the sister of the woman and the brother of the man in the village. I will go and see them. I believe I can help you in your fight against the Tenlands. How would you advise me to go about it? You must destroy their nests. It's sad, but the only way to stop their numbers growing. There are most likely three around here. I can point you in the direction to one that I discovered. I would have taken care of it, but my village cannot spare my presence here. I must keep watch. I did not find the two others. Some in the village may know where to find them. Hmm. And how would I go about destroying the nests? You must burn them and kill the dominant one, or else they will build again. We see them especially at dawn. After that, we no longer see them. But be careful, Renaxi. The night belongs to the Tenlands. That is when they are most awake. Going out at night is very dangerous. I thank you for your advice. We shall go and destroy these nests come dawn. Isn't it odd? That these creatures who are normally passive have become so aggressive. Yes. Yes. This has never happened in my lifetime. What do you know? Speak. Lives are at risk. I do not speak of things I am not sure of. The Renaixe, like you, do not understand the bond we have with nature. I must be going. Katasach advised us to speak with the families of those missing. Perhaps they might know where the tenants have built their nests. Bertir to mad. Bertir to mad, Renate. Are you looking for a guide? Do you offer services as a guide? Sometimes I take Renaixe to a good fishing place. They give me beautiful objects in exchange. But right now we have to be careful. There have been accidents with the Tenlands. Did you want anything else? I must go. Goodbye. Per 
Don't tear too mad. Why are you wearing the same clothes as the too. Good day. I've been sent here by your Denegad. He asked me to help you. I hope he is right and that you are not like the Moin Shakers. My sister has gone missing. It is for that very reason that I am here. To attempt to find her or to understand what has happened. Then I will tell you what I know. Is there anyone in the village that might want to harm her? No. No, everyone loves her. Maybe a little too much. Why do you say that? She is beautiful and young. The mind shakers took notice. And the boys of the village did as well. How long has she been missing? Two nights have gone by since. She told me that she was going to gather berries. It was early in the day. But she never returned. I called for her from the edge of the village, in vain. And the ten lands were roaming. Do you know where she usually goes picking? Certainly. In the clearing. We find a great many berries there. How long has she been missing? Two nights, but she never returned. Do you know? Sir? Your sister, what does she look like? She is a very beautiful young woman. Kind and sweet. I miss her so very much. Is she very careful? Does she know she should be wary of the beasts? Oh, yes. She knows it very well. But she has been star eyed of late. And the stars make you forget all caution. What do you think has likely happened? She might have been attacked by the Tenlands. But it was early, and they come out mostly at night. You think it might have been something else? I hope. Even if it is a strange hope. Perhaps she was taken by the Mind Shakers. They were pestering her the other day. They behaved without respect. A boy intervened and chased them off. But you think that they might have captured her when she was outside of the village? That merits inspection. Could you tell me anything about the missionaries? They are monosynaic. They think that they can take anything they desire. What do you mean? They came to our beautiful village. They wanted to take away our young people. Many heard their words and left. We never saw them again. But I saw how they treated my sister. I believe that they take the young to serve them. They wanted to take my sister like that, as if she were a tool. And if it were not for the young fisherman. The one who's also missing? Yes. He was very brave. I hope they didn't hurt her to avenge their pride. I'm going to have to go and speak with them. Tell me about the Tenants, about their attacks. Before, I only very rarely came across the beasts. We knew their nesting grounds and kept clear of them. But now, they are everywhere and they attack everyone. They've even been known to come as close as the clearing where we pick berries. Very far from their favorite grounds. Do you know how to fight them? No, I am not a fighter. If you want such advice, ask the Master Hunter. Very well. I will go and investigate this clearing. Perhaps they built a nest nearby. It is possible, because before there was never one near there. I must leave now.
but an exit. You should leave. Bertir Trumad, you are on all Manawi. Good day, on all Manawi. Good day. My name is De Sarde from the congregation. I've been told that someone dear to you has disappeared. Yes, my little brother. He left to go fishing, like every day, and he did not return. Your Denegar asked me to help you. Any information you can give me will be very useful. This is true. I hope your words to be heartfelt. My insides are twisting in fear that my brother is lost. Can you describe your brother for me? He is young, rather tall and strong. The girls find him handsome. He is such a nice boy, but he is wild off the tether, and often his curiosity gets him in trouble. Can you tell me more precisely when he disappeared, where, and under what circumstances? It was two days past. I saw him leave to go fishing, as he was often to do. And you cannot remember anything out of the ordinary? No, he was full of joy, full of life. I am so worried about him. Did your brother have any enemies? No, I can't think of anyone who would plant strangleweeds in his garden. Perhaps a youthful rivalry. He didn't get along particularly well with the Master Hunter, but it was nothing serious. Perhaps the missionaries. He did get into a fight with them, but they surely wouldn't have taken him. It's still a lead. Was he close to anyone? He has been dreamy and more joyful than usual. Those are the signs of someone stricken with love. But he no longer wants to share secrets with me. He told me that he has grown beyond the shadow of his brother. And the birds in his branches are his. What do you think most likely happened to him? He could have come face to face with Tenlands. They've become angry of late. But he knew how to avoid them. He might have had a run-in with the Mind Shakers as well. He got into a fight with them a while back. Because of a young girl in our village. You think the missionaries might have sought vengeance? I don't know. But he might have went to find them in their village. He bears no good feelings towards them. I will go and see. Maybe they can tell me more. <sighs> Did your brother know the other girl who disappeared? Yes. It is because of that girl that he fought with the Moin Shakers. Could she be the source of his happiness of late? I don't think so. They have been friends since they were little. She is promised to another. A promise can be broken. And it might be the reason your brother has kept it secret. Perhaps. But what would it matter? He would not have fled with her. Not without saying farewell. What can you tell us about the Tenlands? They are beasts that live near water, rivers or coasts. In all our memories, only if you approach their nests do they anger and attack. But lately... Yes, Kadasak told me they attacked the villagers. Could you point me in the direction of their nest? I know where to find one, but there are certainly more. 
My brother should not have left the village alone. But for a while now, he does not share my fears for him. I must be leaving. It seems our two missing youths were together here. No need for a seer to see that there must have been something more than friendship between them. Come on. 